Today, I wanted to make a guide with the full steps of what you need to do in order to unlock the Able Sisters and to be on your way to become a pro designer. We're also going to go over some tips and tricks and things that you might not know once you have the store, so stay tuned till the end. So first things first, you need Mabel to visit your island, and there's a few things that you need to do in order to unlock her visits. Number one, you must upgrade your tent and house. This can be done by collecting various resources around, making sure to use the trick for hitting rocks so you get a lot of iron, catching bugs, fishing, and selling shells. So while you're out collecting items, don't sell all of them just yet, you need to build up your museum. And the way that you do this is you give five creatures to Tom Nook. Once you donate those five items, you will then get a kit to place down a tent so that Blathers can come down. He's a cute little owl. Once he comes down, make sure to place down that tent. The next day, Blathers will come. Then you want to give him 15 more items so that he can actually create the museum. And one little trick that I did to speed up this process and save your inventory space is place the creatures that you have not donated outside of Blathers' tent and just, you know, start a little collection out there. That's not gonna hurt nobody. And by the time Blathers comes, you can literally just donate all of those items and get that over with because you'll have to wait another day until the museum is actually built. While you're out and about collecting resources, you're also going to need to donate some to Timmy, who is in the resident service tent. You're going to need to donate 30 of each type of wood. There's three different types of wood. You got hardwood, softwood, and just regular wood. You can use a flimsy axe or a stone axe for this. They won't chop down trees. And you will also need to donate 30 iron nuggets. So this one might take a little bit longer to come by, but I'm going to show you this nifty trick to get the most out of your rocks. So in the beginning, you can hit your rocks with a ax, but it is more effective to use an iron shovel. Now, what you want to do is stand next to your rock, take one step forward and dig a hole right in front of you. Turn to the side and dig a hole right on the side of that. Jump in between those holes and then jump back towards the rock. And what you want to do is hit your rock continuously with your shovel for eight times till you get eight items that pop out of the rock. But before you actually hit the rock, you want to make sure that the area around the rock is clear. Uh, that will take up a little space where an iron ingot could fall if there's a flower there or some weeds. So make sure to clear the area around your rock. So you will have four rocks that spawn on your island each day that are ready to be hit. But if you want to kind of speed up the process, you also can use your nook miles to go to an island and hit some more rocks there to gather all of your 30 iron ingots. So now that you've donated all of your resources, you should get a building kit for the Nook's Cranny. This is the upgraded store and place down where you want that location to be and you have to wait the next day for that store to be complete. So now you should have your house, your museum and your Nook's Cranny. And all you have to do now is just wait for Mabel to show up. She shows up randomly at your resident service plaza. When she shows up, you wanna make sure to have some bells on hand because you're gonna have to let her know that business is great on this island. So you're gonna have to purchase some items from her. I've heard ranges of buying five different items or 5,000 items worth in bells. Uh, but for me, I just spent as much as I could because I love fashion items. What can I say? And from my experience, it took her two visits to actually decide that she wanted to come back and create a store on the island. So on the very third visit, that's when she was like, hey, can I open a store here? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it, girl. I love fashion. So then same as the other buildings, she will give you a kit where you want to place down your Able Sister store, place that down, and then the store will be there the next day. So before we go into the store, I want to make sure that you're all prepped and ready to go on your designer journey. So there's a couple things that I want to cover before we actually dive into the store, and that is getting yourself pro designer. So while you are gathering your resources, you actually have access to unlocking the custom design pro editor through your Nook link with Nook Miles. And I unlocked this the first day. It is 800 miles to unlock. So make sure to gather those miles and try to unlock the Nook Miles Plus as soon as you can. And that's done by collecting miles, obviously. The Nook Plus Miles allows you to continuously collect miles through tiny little tasks. So once you unlock the custom design pro editor, this will allow you to edit custom clothing like sweaters, 
beanies, dresses, etc. and gives you access to changing your color palette, which is a big thing in designing. If you would like some more info on the Custom Design Pro, I actually have an in-depth video that tells you all of the tools you need to learn. So check out, oh, it's on this side. Check out this video <laughs> here. So now you should have everything that you need and be well on your way to becoming a fashionista. Now I wanted to go over some tips and tricks once you have the store, some things that you should be doing on a daily basis when you go in the store and some things to customize your store. Number one is to check out the store every single day. And not only looking on what is displayed on the floor, but you are able to go inside of the dressing room and there are more color options and more designs available to you in the actual dressing room. You are not able to bulk buy, so if you try to buy two types of shoes it'll only allow you to buy one at a time so you have to make a couple trips in and out of the dressing room which is one of my pet peeves but it's not that big of a deal and you can find some really cute pieces in the store number two will be to display your designs so in the back of the store there are some clothing items that are hanging you can actually go up to these and you can change them you can change them to your designs or you can change them to your favorite designer this is a really fun way to customize your store and every time that i walk into the store i just look at my clothing on the wall and i'm like oh <laughs> it's my clothes <laughs> It's just a cute little added bonus whenever you go shopping. Number three is to talk to Sable every single day. So most of your encounters are going to be with Mabel, who is the blue hedgehog. She is a lot more friendly and outspoken and it helps you on the floor. Sable is the other sister who is always sewing. She's working so hard. Her little paws are just work to the bone if you go up to her and try to talk to her the very first time she's gonna blow you off and you're gonna feel really sad but i promise she's just shy just give her a chance make sure to return every single day and talk to her and finally she will acknowledge you mine was about after five or six days i can't remember the exact number but once she acknowledges you then you get a little backstory on the able sisters and if you talk to her enough you can actually customize patterns. This is something that I'm still working towards unlocking. I don't know how many days it takes, but you better bet that once I unlock this, we're gonna make so many more cute things. So with that being said, make sure to follow my designer code. I will place it right here on the screen. And last but not least, is uploading your designs. So you have to upload your designs at the kiosk. And in order to have access to this, you need to have a Nintendo Switch Online account. And yes, it does cost money for a Nintendo Switch Online account. I think it's $5 a month. There's also family packages. You can also do a seven day free trial. So if you wanna like hold off and wait until more people do some designs, you can probably do a free trial, gather all of these designs and then cancel it. Just just saying, I know the struggle. So to actually upload and look for designs, head over to the kiosk in the back of the store and you can search designs based on the unique code for each item. You can search based off of the unique code for each designer and you can also upload your designs there and generate your codes. I think this just about covers everything. I know some of you are still confused on, you know, how to actually unlock the store. So I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please let me know, leave a like, comment down below your designer code if you want me to check out some designs. If you enjoy Animal Crossing content, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell. There are some videos for you to check out right here that I think you'll enjoy. And also come hang out on the live streams. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I would love to see you there. I hope you have a great day. See you later and happy designing.